Even when you're soulless and you're funny, there's still some repercussions. Some very, very clear repercussions. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 13 of Supernatural Season 6, Unforgiven. This is the episode where Sam has to go back to an area where he did a case as Solus Sam. It starts to break away the parts of the wall to see the ills, the harsh cruelties that previously Solus him did when they came to this town to fight a human spider thing. I want Spider-Man! Overall, I like the mystery of the episode. I do like trying to unravel what happened. I do like Sam picking apart the pieces to try and figure out what's going on. Ian is understandably hesitant about him going off to pick away at the wall and trying to figure out things that he did before. And Usually, in most cases, when hunters come to a town, they don't leave it on good terms, which, when you think about it, they all should be federal criminals at that point. But Sam, having his soul back, wants to right the wrongs that he did. This episode also actually includes Miranda Freegan. I worked with her on the Day of the Dead series, the sci-fi series that's not really good, but if you guys wanted to watch that, I worked with her on it. She was really fun, she was really cool. She has a pretty cool one-off character in this episode, being the wife of the sheriff who went missing and there's this mystery about what happened to him in turn it turns out that Sola Sam used him as bait basically didn't care what happened to him and then when they thought that they killed the spider creature he kills everyone who was bitten by the spider thing as a means of mercy even though the sheriff's like uh please don't do it I'm afraid that my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy no! turns out the sheriff actually he did get turned into a, a spider and he had been luring Sam there to take his revenge on him even though it seems like it would have been longer I'm sure the span of time is a little bit long because you wonder what the sheriff's been doing since then as a ravenous spider he's a menace to the entire city I'm ruined. I have nothing left except Spider-Man. The episode's structure is pretty decent in terms of trying to pick apart a mystery, and it's a decent mystery at that for a supernatural. It's the memories bit that's going to start to annoy you. About halfway through, the whole black and white... <laughs> and Sam going... What was that? She just cougar eyed you. And constantly being interrupted, and Sam be like, oh, yeah, oh, 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 nothing, oh, oh, oh. oh. Admittedly, for Pedalecki, that must have been annoying. Look off into the distance and be snapped back to reality again, Sam. Well, this is like the seventh time I've done it in this episode. Well, we're doing it again. Kind of does drag on the episode, it does make it a little bit less. And, but structure wise, it's still pretty decent. I actually liked how. The flashback sequences, for the most part, they were shot differently than the conventional means of how they shoot Supernatural episodes. They shot down, they shot at awkward angles, they shot really close up. They tried to do a little bit of variation to make these flashbacks look disorientating. And so I will give the editing and the camera department credit for that because that's something to add a little bit of spice to this episode. So in the end, I'm going to give Unforgiven a 4 out of 7. It's a seemingly okay episode. I like the mystery behind it. The editing slash Sam constantly being like, oh, it's a little bit irritating if not just kind of boring and silly at times but either way it's still a pretty decent episode on the road to kind of righting the wrongs of what sam did as well as that little bit of a lingering threat of him scratching at the wall but those are my thoughts on the episode so let's see what you guys have to say this is an episode that once again really shows the show's budget by making monsters take on a human personification of a spider it's an interesting to note that Sola sam paralleled the monsters of using bait taking advantage of humans sexually and it all comes down to a heartbreak sam did more harm than good the fact soulful sam tells the sheriff's wife that her husband probably died as a hero and then the flashback to Sola sam telling the sheriff that he he died a hero stings every time I watch it. Lastingly, seeing a memory of Sam having a seizure while he ex remembers experiencing the cage was heartbreaking. 
I'll admit those two bits at the end of the episode are probably the best parts. One of the weakest and hardest episodes to talk about in season six. Sam receives an anonymous tip that women are suddenly disappearing. This tip triggers Sam's first flashbacks and Samuel doing a job there. As the brothers set off, the flashbacks become longer and more intense as the episode goes on. Okay, episode three out of seven. The ending of this episode was very cruel, if only to scare you into worrying about Sam once again. <laughs> yes, it, it does do that. Unforgiven falls into the category of many other season six episodes as one that I really enjoy in the context of the season, but it is easily forgotten as the show moves on. 100% I forgot about this episode. Obviously, it's always good to have uh, Soul of Sam back, but in this episode, he's used as a cold-blooded psycho, more akin to what we see in the scene in the mid-season finale without any jokes or humor to soften the characterization. One of the things I really enjoy here is Dean is still protective of Sam, but accepts that he's an adult and supports his choices, even though he hates it. It's a nice callback to the, to the finale of season five, where Dean finally accepts letting Sam grow up, something that future seasons would tarnish because, as you will see in the up and coming seasons, Dean's overprotectiveness can reach an almost ab abusive level of treatment towards his brother. Also, what a cliffhanger. I couldn't figure out why they would come back from that till we find out later that it's only just a partial memory of hell. Unforgiven is just a meh episode. I like the interactions between Sam and Dean and that's it. Honestly, I feel that this episode reminds me of Metamorphosis. I really never liked Metamorphosis to begin with, so that doesn't really do much for me. It's a filler, it's not too boring, the monster doesn't exist in Greek lore, but I was at least glad that they didn't use a terrible CG to create it, while I could say more than that for the next disaster. So I, it's a strange look. At least they tried something and it was practical. Gotta give them credit for that. This episode really brings up something that I've been wondering about hunters. Is there no rules or regulations, no code, not only soulless Sam, but for other hunters, having just gone off the deep end and gotten innocent people hurt makes me wonder if there are no rules or punishments are for our killing innocent people as a hunter. I guess not. I don't know. Maybe I'm just putting too much thought into it. As terrible as the angels and demons are, at least they have rules. I'm kind of trying to see where the line goes. Unforgiven is clearly a filler episode and that was put into safe budget to make by making the monster look human. I did like the flashbacks to see Sam remembering what he did as he was soulless and what he did coming back to haunt him. Okay, fellow rapper. Unforgiven is definitely one of the weakest episodes of the season. I thought the flashbacks were okay. The pacing was really slow, but the best aspect of this episode was the ending scene with Sam's wall breaking, which in my opinion is not only the best ep uh, season in this episode, but it's also the best scene in any, any scene in the next episode. 100%. We're about to go into a shitstorm in the next one. I kind of knew that eventually Sam would be able to find some of the horrible things that he did while he was soulless. I like the flashbacks that were in black and white. I did feel sorry for him when he finds out that he lured an innocent man and used him as bait. Samuel definitely should have stopped this, but I could tell that he was afraid of Sam. Unfortunately, Sheriff Dobbs was right and Samuel killed one monster, but then ended up creating more. In this case, though, I hate soulless Sam storyline. It's even it's definitely way better than the one sh the show did in season 14. All right, guys. Now we're going on to episode 14, Mannequin 3. Oh, God, no, not this one. I just hear so many horrible stories about this episode, but I can't remember it. Give me guys' thoughts about that episode, and I'll read those off in the next review. Otherwise, guys, if you like the review, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Till then.